where do we want to go? I mean, the thing that keeps coming up is I want to go to the billiards place to 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 chat with Nobby, but their their snooker game never seems to end. Yeah? No? Jock? Do you feel like stopping at any time? We already we already went to the docks. We already got him red-handed. I mean, maybe we want to go to the maybe we want to go to the police station. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what we want to do. Yeah, all the, I mean, all the music in this game is quite good, I would say. Okay, well, I guess let's go to Bow Street Police Court. Why not? We got nothing else we can do. Apparently. Oh yeah, I can vibe with this. Okay, we got keys on the wall, I guess. Uh, let's talk to the guard. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague slash associate slash life partner, Doctor Watson. We need, we have important business here. Oh yeah, I'm pleased I am to make your acquaintance, your worship. But you'll have to push off. Only official personnel arrive down here. Okay, so do we have to? Hmm. Do we have to? Hmm. Do we have to talk to Lestrade? Inspector Lestrade has given us permission to speak with your prisoner. Yeah, I figured we were allowed to talk to him, since we were the one who brought him in. No offense, your honor. But I'll need more than your say-so, and sharpen like mine. Otherwise, my superior will have my eye. Okay, um, and what was the third option? Hmm, uh, it is urgent that I speak with Inspector Gregson immediately. Yeah. Then I go off to Scotland Yard, urgently. I've never seen Gregson in Bow Street for all the 17 years I've worked here. All right, I guess it's back to Scotland Yard. I like a big portion portion of this game is just getting permission to do the things that we know we should be doing. I mean, to be fair, it's 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 very like logical. It's very like, of course we have to get permission to go into the jail. Who would just let us in? That would be madness. All right, so let's get him to summon Lestrade again. I'm sure he'll be very happy to see us as always. Oh, I tried to speak with one of the prisoners being held at Bow Street Court, but they won't let us in. And Eastings won't let you in. Say no more, Mr. Holmes. That one takes his duties a bit too serious, to my way of thinking. I believe he'll pull his cosh on the Queen herself if she came in without a pass. Here you are. This should satisfy him. All right. Thank you. Finally, someone who's just immediately helpful for us. And I'm assuming it's just like a pass that we now have in our inventory. Yep, allow the bearer of this pass access. Yep, okay, great, perfect. All right, let's go. Oh, no, I want to exit, and wha-bam. Back to the court. I uh, know, e exit, and there we go. Perfect, let's go. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, the jams are good here. The Sherlock jams are powerful. They, 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 they move us with gusto. Okay, so let's go to the police court then. All right. Now, can I give you this, give pass to the guard? Very good, Mr. Holmes. You and Dr. Watson may proceed. I think that's what that said. Okay, the old granite floor is covered with dust. An occasional footprint may be seen, but other than that, there is nothing significant here. Okay, um, can we go over to the right before before we go over here? I'm just curious, because it looks like there's more area over here. Because that's definitely, yeah, George Blackwood. GB! See, that's the thing, we never got his first name. And that would match the cufflink, right? So that, that seems to be our guy. Is this our guy? Oh my god. I have evidence that will put a rope around your neck before Christmas. Blackwood, confess! Your reputation for subtlety is undeserved, Mr. Holmes. You can hardly threaten a man who is about to die. Never mind the threat is bogus in any case. I've only been charged with stolen property. Your stolen property charge is a temporary expedient, Mr. Blackwood. Soon you'll be indicted for murder in the first degree. Now here's a friendly word. Once the English judicial system traps a capital criminal in its uh, capacious maw, it chews on him. Okay, I guess we just skip that. <laughs> okay, so can I like 
talk to him more? Mr. Blackwood, your situation is precarious, to put it mildly. Do you have anything to say to mitigate your crime? Anything that might save you from the hangman? Yeah. Mr. Holmes, it was an accident, I swear. I didn't mean to kill that girl. I was hired to find a letter that she was supposed to be holding. Wait, what was in this letter? Having the foggiest. I never found it. I searched her digs and her dressing room and came up empty. So I held her up outside the data, figured she had it on her. But she definitely did not. Blackwood, you murdered the woman. Why if you merely wanted to rob her? I'm getting to that. She panicked, see, and I got overexcited. I sliced her to make her stop screaming, but it's my training, understand. I went for the car uh, car uh, carotid artery. She was dead in seconds. Then I tried to make it look like the Ripper done it, cut her up and took her jewelry. Okay, so the job wasn't a total loss. What a sordid story. A simple robbery turns into a heinous murder of a young woman. What could be worse? Since you asked, it turns out that Sarah Carraway was the wrong girl. She's a redhead, you see. I was supposed to be looking for her sister, Anna Carraway, who's a blonde. It's Anna who supposedly has the letter. Wait, how did you discover your error? Par uh, the party that hired me. Old gent, very high tone, if you know what I mean. He became very agitated when I described Sarah. And after I told him she didn't have the letter and that she was deceased, he yells, Sarah! Uh, he, uh, you idiot, it's Miss Anna Carraway who has the letter. I beg your pardon, says I, but you never told me her Christian name. You just said her name was Carraway. The nerve of some people. I just left him standing there in St. James Park, fuming at the sky. Wait, who is this gentleman? Mm, said his name was Fitzroy, but I'm certain that's a lie. People lie to me when they need my services. It's a sad commentary on human nature, isn't it? Wait, but why did he hire you? I got a tiny reputation among the upper classes. I've done a high penny strong arm stuff, a touch of blackmail, and the all bit of dealing goods without the benefit of a sales receipt. But I never killed. Until now. It was... an accident, I swear. Swear no more, Mr. Blackwood. Let the facts tell the tale. Interesting. So the murder was an accident because he was looking for something that was actually on Anna. And in my head, the only person who's connected to, or there are two people, Antonio and uh, Lord Brumwell. Interesting. So is there anything else you can tell me? To whom did you try to sell Miss Carraway's jewelry exactly? Yeah. I've given you plenty, Holmes. How many others do you want me to drag down this hole? I guess, fair enough. I mean, it's not like you can get any more stitches. You're, you're, you're done, buddy. Okay, then I guess the, the, the really important thing is we need to get to Anna before whoever was trying to, to get to her earlier gets there first. Okay, that's not great. Okay, but who would know where Anna lives? We're trying to get to Antonio, right? And Antonio hang out, hung out at the, 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 the billiard or the, the snooker hall. So maybe now we can finally talk to Nobby? Now that we know that it's about Anna after all? Oh, come on, please. Please. Oh, my God. Okay, is there really... C can I not look at the, the table? I'm losing my mind. We need to get to Anna. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do here. Uh, is there anything I can give him? Wait, am I in a soft lock? Oh, no! Okay... Hmm, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, files. These lads don't want to chat. Okay, so files. These flowers stink of murder. So this is before. So if I go here, is the billiards of Okay, the billiards is available. So... If I talk to Jacques... Because I can't remember if I've gone here yet. That's the problem. Oh, boy. I hope this is before I paid this guy. Okay. Okay. Exit here. Okay, so I haven't talked to them yet. Okay, so they're playing the game now. Okay. That's good. 
Now the question is, what if I talk to the barman? Ah, okay. I'm looking for a man named Caruso who frequents these premises. Yeah, do you know him? Perhaps the names and faces are not strong suited. Prince Albert, yeah, we already talked about that. So, can I try talking to him again? Yeah, until he's done. So then he takes his shot. Okay, so they're not frozen now, at least. Okay. What if I talk to Nobby? Oh boy, this is this would be unfortunate because that's a lot of dart playing. I know, we're QA testing this now. Okay. Now, I guess let's try paying the spectator? Oh boy. Now we're QA, now we're QAing this. Okay, I'm looking to have a discreet word with a man named Caruso. Ah, Antonio Caruso. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Now that's a smart chap. Okay, okay. So I paid him, and then he told me that Nobby's the guy to talk to. And now he takes a shot. So now they're actually playing the game. Oh boy. That might be a lot of darts we have to play. Oh, nuts. Okay, so if I try talking to him, nothing happens. Yep. And then Jock. No, won't do anything. So they're at least playing now though, which they weren't doing in our current save. Ah, sugar. Okay. Okay, do you know your clientele? Who can afford to come in and play away the day? Okay. So then Jock takes his shot, and they keep playing. And oh, wait, we can talk to him? Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'm willing to pay a shilling, no more, uh... Yes, here you are. Yes, we'll pay you, we'll pay you, we'll pay you! Oh, nuts. I think, yeah. Okay, so... This guy's telling us that the other one... Yes. Okay. Alright, so... Ah, a dandy player. I know where Antonio lives, but I'm not going to tell you. I don't grass on my friends, especially to coppers and toffee-nosed gits like you. Okay. Um, perhaps the police might secure your cooperation if we cannot. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think, unfortunately, we got softlock. Oh, boy. All right. So now... So now we know that Jock is the one who has the information about Antonio. Great. All right. Yes. Aha. So now we can try to get some information on Jock. Yes. Some of the Academy's noblemen, sir. Jock Mooney in yellow and Nobby Carlton in the hat. Salt of the earth they are. I allow no rough trade in my establishment. I have difficulty believing that. Perhaps Inspector Lestrade should be informed. By all means, I have a pitiful memory for faces. But if he's a snooker player, he is welcome. Okay, anything else about Jacques? Yes. Is he- oh, is he married? Aha! Let's dig some dirt. Indeed, sir. To Peg O'Shea, a real beauty around these parts. Dark hair and violet eyes. The whole family's black Irish, as they say, with temperaments to match. Jock's out of the house quite a bit on account of them. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay, but how do I find out about the mistress? Ah, uh, have you changed your mind about speaking with me? Yes. No, I haven't, but I may change my mind about throwing you out myself. Now, leave us be. Uh, sir, I require more of your time. Now. I thought I told you. Perhaps your wife or her brother should be informed that you are keeping company with a tall, red-headed stage actress who wears poids de vie perfume. 
For the love of Mike, keep quiet. You've been spying on me. Not at all. The evidence is all over your perso uh, person. A strand of long red hair on your jacket, a particular brand of powder on your collar, the unmistakable scent of Poids de Vie. All right, enough. Can we keep this between ourselves? Indeed, I have no wish to discombobulate your domestic arrangements. I simply must know where Antonio Caruso lives. I bear him no ill will. Hell yeah, we got the information. Antonio keeps his room over the Kingsway, just below the Holborn Viaduct. Number 86 it is. Very cozy little spot. Thank you. I trust this information will prove accurate. The O'Shea's sound like a contentious and vengeful lot. You don't know the half of it. All right, well, we know where Antonio lives now. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's good. Boom. All right, so, aha, there he is. Okay, before we do that, files. Uh, Antonio is Antonio? Question mark? <laughs> How good are we? Um, you know, we've played some darts. Well, unfortunately, Tom is just that much better. Okay, uh, Antonio is Antonio. It is. Oh boy. All right. Well, enjoy your snooker game. Thanks for nothing, you jerks. All right. But now we must endure this punishment once more. And a punishment we will take. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I need to hold on, hold on. I need to do it in the same order as last time, right? So I need to pick up the feathered dart. Do I have to, I think I have to, I, I mean, I think I have to pick up the dart. I'm not sure if I actually do. Okay, so now let's talk to the staggering drunk. Oh my God, I can't believe we're doing this. Or me or familiar faces worn out. Two hours later. To never see this dartboard again would be too soon. Oh, that's right. All right, I'm looking for somebody. Yes, we need to get to the chemist, which ended up going nowhere. So who cares about it? Oh, I cannot believe this. Oh boy, I think we have finally retraced all of our steps, gone through the time stream, re-darted Tom and the lads down at the bar. We have done it all, and then some. We finally get to go and talk to Antonio. Let's do it. Excellent. Hello, hello. Ah, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume. Your likeness in Beaton's Annual does you justice. Uh, thank you, I guess? Then I shall send my compliments to Mr. Charles Doyle, the artist. Ah, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, perhaps? All right, let's have a chat, but first we should definitely save. All right. Oh, that was worth it.